I've probably recorded this like four times now because what I found out while actually making this help me level up guide um, is pretty amazing. Let me throw some footage really quickly while we make this character just so you can see what I found out and then how amazing this farming strategy is. Now that those little 14 HP enemies count as a uh, death for your Nutris, you could get your Nutris out very easily in these fights. I really suggest this being one of your primary farming locations at low levels. There are many levels within each rank that have the Gabaloper enemy that summons the Flea Flea Companion, which you can take out to reduce that death orb cost. So as you saw, what we're going to be doing in this leveling guide is using the death orb. Now I understand not everybody's going to have access to the death orb. However, if you are playing a different character while leveling up, you're going to be getting equipment chests. Make sure you grab the death orb when it does come available. What the death orb does when the, one of your companions or monsters dies, it reduces the action point cost of this spell from 50 to 40 all the way down to zero. So the goal of this is to kill or have five companions in total die. Once that happens, Nutris will come out to the field for free. Nutris is really cool. When Nutris attacks, they go through the target and inflict attack on opponents they've gone through. They go to the other side of the board, so they can do a lot of damage even at level one. So we're going to play the Death Orb and we're going to play all of our cheap birds that we start the game with. And then for a spells list, it's up to you. You want to make sure that you are running cards that are going to get you that gauge because you want to be able to summon these now to help us with summoning those, we are going to run the ring that when one of our companions die, uh, we get one ether gauge. That's going to make it a bit easier to uh, generate those ne those spawns each time. And to help us with just surviving, if you do have the speaker ring, go ahead and use this. Whenever we summon a companion, we're going to confer shield on our hero. We don't need these companions to die. We really only need about one because we're going to be using the flea fleas to reduce the cost of the death orb. So what we can do is each turn play another bird and that's going to give us shield for the turn, make us a little bit more uh, tanky and allow us to survive, especially at level one. And um, then what we'll do is we will finish this off with a good health ring. If I can spell, we'll use this steel ring right here just to give us an extra 20 HP, just so we're a little bit more, uh, have a little bit more survivability. For the armband, use one of these armbands that trigger um, the damage twice. Uh, flame, there's a lightning one here. There's earth and, uh, or muddy and, not or muddy, but rock and rain. Use these. Uh, our attack on this character is only 20. Um, this is essentially gonna double our damage early game. Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. I'm running a few air cards, and air cards are important, especially if they can push. Um, push is probably the most important thing to this build since Nutris, when uh, they attack, they dash through, right? So we want to line enemies up. So I have a combo card that allows me to push a cell. I have another card here that can let me push some enemies. I'm going to be using these to try to line up multiple attacks with Nutris. Since that's going to be our primary damage uh, source going forward. So let's go ahead and fight. I'm going to do a few fights just to see how fast you can level up using this strategy at level one. I'm going to speed up the footage here. It took me about 20 minutes to go from level 1 to 11, so if you want to watch, feel free. If you want to watch these without it, the footage being sped up, I will have an unlisted video down below in the description section, so you can watch this turn by turn to see exactly how it is working. With that said, I do hope that this video helps out a bunch of you starting and just trying new classes. It is really difficult to get to level 15, especially for some of those classes. I just started the Stalactos eye up, and my gosh, was level 1 to 15 a nightmare. I wish I would have known about this combination. It would have made training a whole lot easier. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you do try this suggestion and find it successful or not. Let me know how you feel about it. And if you have any tips to provide any players on how to level up efficiently, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear how you all have been training in Waven. With all that being said, I will see you all in the next video real soon.